We are now seeing more essential workers test positive for COVID-19. It's no surprise as more and more people test positive for COVID-19 and they're around essential workers. It makes sense that they're also testing positive. But now Harris Teeter is taking these new precautions as the outbreak nears uh, what, what we're thinking is the peak. Wake Up Charlotte's Rachel Lumberg joins us with what this means now for all of us shoppers. Harris Teeter, a major grocery store here in Charlotte and across the Carolinas, are now limiting the number of customers that are allowed in the building. They are basically cutting it in half. This is going to help slow the spread as their mindset, so you're going to have to be waiting in line if they're already exceeding that number of people that are in the store. Could be one in, one out if they get to that number of capacity. Go vote. We've got a live survey up this morning on our WCNC app. Let us know if you think that all stores should be doing this limiting customers to help slow the spread of COVID-19 and we'll get to those results in just a couple minutes. In addition to that safety measure being put in place, uh, Harris Teeter's parent company Kroger adding some more safety measures across a lot of their stores in the country. They're offering masks. Those are actually going to arrive at all locations in the country by the end of this week. Also associates employees have an opportunity um, and access to gloves if they would like to wear those as well. Some locations they're going to be doing the temperature checks just to make sure that nobody is running a fever. We know that's a common symptom of COVID-19. They're testing one-way aisles, and they're also waiving any prescription delivery fees so that you don't have to go in the store to pick that up. So definitely look into that if that's something that you're in need of. Many other big stores at this point have been upping their safety measures to make sure they're protecting the customer, also protecting their employees. Home Depot is no longer selling N95 masks. They're donating all of those to healthcare workers. Walgreens is helping the federal government government and testing. We even know Target has six feet of a distance in the parking lot where people line up to get into the store. They've got that set up in place. It was one of the comments I actually saw on our Facebook page when we asked you guys if you think that stores should be limiting this uh, number of customers that are allowed inside after Harris Teeter made that announcement. A lot of you guys are saying it is about time that they definitely need to do this. So join the conversation. Vote on our app if you haven't. We'll toss it back to Ben and Carolyn for an update on those results, guys. All right, Rachel, thanks. By the way, as of right now, 88% of you say that you do think stores should be limiting uh, people coming in and out. You know, the thing is, this just creates more work for some of these, these workers who are already overworked at this point, Carolyn. And, you know, just keep in mind also returns. The return policies have changed. I know at Target they're not accepting returns at this point. So uh, make sure you have that in mind as well. For good reason, too. Got plenty of time to return things over, over the next few months ahead. All right, Carolyn, thanks.